What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name? His name you ask me? Well, I mean, maybe you can tell from the fact we have a Poseidon player in the game, but it is Matrius, his opponent today in the red color playing as Thor. His name is Soup. This is Champions League. This is season two, and this is a best of three. This is the group stages. We're getting into that portion of the group stages where almost everyone's played everyone and we're ready to move on to the playoffs. It's very exciting. We've got some tight groups here, and we've had some ridiculously good games through this season so far. Uh, I personally hope you guys have been enjoying them as much as me because these guys have been coming up with new Fandangle strategies, showing off ridiculous levels of, of skill. And um, I'm sure that this game is going to be no exception. And this series, indeed, we've got Poseidon versus Thor. This is... This is a matchup here, which we have to go into the the, uh, the psyche here of Matrius. Uh, so Matrius is the Poseidon creator. He is writing the book on Poseidon um, as we speak. Every single time I see him play, he's coming up with something new, uh, trying out new ideas for Poseidon and then executing them in high level games uh, and we'll see exactly what he's going to come up with today however he's been saying poseidon good against greek poseidon good against egyptian poseidon okay against atlantean poseidon having some problems with poseidon against norse that's what he's been saying so we'll see if he's got any ideas here to nudge soup off of his intended path here, um, and he's going to be going forward. We already see the dock is up. We've got fishing ships coming. Soup, on the other hand, I mean, this guy is just one of those Norse players who just plays so ridiculously well. That's how he gets his wins, just purely uh, outmaneuvering, outmultitasking, outrating, outmacroing, uh, and that's it. That's the that's how it goes. Uh, so we'll see if he's going to be able to do anything on this one. He is going with the Thor on Anatolia. And obviously Thor, not a bad god here. Uh, he gets a little bit of a bad rap on this map because of the Isis matchup. And the Isis matchup can hit Thor very, very hard before he's set up. Um, and he doesn't really have a great time against Isis. However... He sort of has a good time against everything else here because he's going to have, he's definitely going to have access to some fish when he Ragnaroks, which makes the Ragnarok even stronger. And if he gets out a couple of caravans as well before he Ragnaroks, the Ragnarok is never going to be all in. That's the big thing here on this map. So uh, Rag becomes much, much stronger when not every single villager is getting uh, getting converted into a rag hero. But then again, imagine if you did have your fishing ships converted into rag hero ships. Make it happen, guys. The mod is out there. We want to see it. <laughs> we do have some relics on the map. The armor of Achilles. Negative 5% infantry hack vulnerability, making your infantry stronger against those hack damages. And we've also got the nose of the Sphinx. This relic up is actually huge. For Matrius and somewhat big for Soup. We also see already in the middle of the map, we've got the temple for Soup. He's got docks on both sides. He's almost up to the um, the full uh, 18 fishing ships uh, and Soup and Matrius both on the way to the classical age through their god at one second difference here, 509, 508. And let's check out the population here soup slightly in front with 38 he's got 16 fishing ship out 16 villages out whereas mattress has got 20 villages out 14 fishing ship out so it's effectively equal here on, on the civilian units because the uh, the thor player guys slightly faster with those dwarves so that's making up for the uh the villager differences in the uh anyways and mattress is still building villages fishing ships so he's going to get those out and be happy and and, and grateful and, and and living the dream we do see the docks already up for soup this build here from soup has been really really good uh if you guys want 
the recorded games here. They're all uploaded on the Champions League Discord. And if you guys want to come and learn these build orders that these players are doing, just go and download the recorded games, write the build down, and then learn it. That's the secret that people haven't been telling you for all these years. This is how you get good. Go and watch the recorded games, work out how they're playing. So now we've got the Valkyrie moving into Matrius' base. The Centaur already going to get a free shot away on that Valkyrie, dealing almost, uh, well, I guess that's 45 damage. So, yes, good, good, good. We'll see how it goes. Um, we've got the Longhouses in the middle of the map here by Soup already. Bowsort coming through for Matrius. Do we see any ships coming out? We don't see any ships. We've got a couple of ships for Soup. It looks like Soup wants to get aggressive with these raiding cavalry, the Hursa. He's still making Hursa. The amount of units that Soup is going to be able to produce here is, is quite a lot. Uh, and we don't see that any attempt for Mattress to throw up a stable here is actually going to be in a lot of problems. We do see that the Trireme moving in onto this location. Soup not defending it at all. He's actually going to be losing every single one of those fishing ships um, from uh, being able to do anything. We do see the long boat for Soup coming in. We're going to be trying to focus down one of Matrius's fishing ships here. The fishing ship is going to be retreating into the dock as the long boat trying to retreat away. More trireme's coming in to target this long boat down and now Soup is sort of out of that completely. Uh, we do see that the Lysias is taking down the house but we've got the raiding cavalry out. That's sort of going to give away what Soup is trying to do here. And remember, we do have a Hermes. So military buildings now coming down for Matrius as the raiding cavalry coming in. Are we going to be seeing any attempt at making anything over here for Soup? He has made a couple of longboats here to defend his fishing spots. He's quietly gathering fish on these spots here, but not a lot. We do see one trireme going to be fighting off this. With the help of the dock, should be enough for the longboats to defend as long as he sits under the dock and micros as well enough. We do see that the uh, units of Soup pushing in, killing off houses here. And Madrius getting a couple of those militia out. We see Soup trying to take some damage down on them, but while this is going on, the micro from Matrius pulling the longboat all the way back into the back of the map here. Going to be able to kill off two of those essentially for free. Meanwhile, the uh, the units of Soup getting drawn in to the watchtowers of Matrius, losing one Hursa, losing one raiding cavalry. This is going really, really well for Matrius right now. He's uh, reacted to this pressure impeccably, and he has got a solid advantage. Meanwhile, we've got the Thundering Hooves upgrade on the way coming through. But Matrius has got his eyes set on the Heroic Age. If he can get the Heroic Age through Dionysus, he can start making Prodromus to deal with these Thundering Hoof medium cavalry um, cavalry. So that's, that's a thing that he's going to have to worry about. Now we see another stable or oh, military academy coming up. We see Matrius not building anything just yet as the Raiders swinging around here. Going to be looking for a raid. He does still have forest fight. So if he can sneak in and catch Matrius off guard, he may be able to get a lot of villager kills. Meanwhile, the longboats pushing in onto this location with the raiding cavalry swinging in. Matrius not paying attention. The forest fire not coming down in time. So he's not going to cast it to Shepard. He will get a couple of villager kills here. It's going to be completely fine for him. If he can get these ones, it'll be lovely. There's No, he doesn't get those. They get into the watchtower. These uh, longboats here not paying attention either they're coming in and they are getting focused down by Matrius yet again a little bit of a poor control from soup in order to do that we do see two villagers trying to drop out of the watchtower but get dealt with nicely there by soup he gets three villager kills before sacrificing those longboats now he's running straight into this corner going to be trying to fight the trireme over here as well uh, and actually dealing with this quite nicely but Aphrodite is the god of choice here for Matrius soup should be on his way to the next age fairly soon he might Right. Or he can get out of here. So I thought he's going to have to burn that forest there. But he's going to be able to get out of there. Nice choice to run through there. Throwing up some more houses. Uh, and he's not producing many. Or well, he's still producing some of these raiding cavalry. But now the Heroic Age is coming through. We're going to start seeing Prodromus, Hippocon, Hoplites, Nemean Lions. The whole kit and caboodle for... Uh, for Matrius here as Soup running in going to be attempting to hit this raid yet again we see another we see the curse coming down only hitting five of those raiders there with thundering hooves and everything else he's not going to take too much damage there we do see the forest fire coming in going to be hitting this forest opening this location up but 
giving Matrias two more militia here if he pulls them away from the forest, which he's not doing. And they're going to take their life. He's, and there he goes running away now. We see the town center are attempting to come up. This is probably a, a little bit of a risky move here. We see Pig Sticker coming through as well while this is all going on. Plus hunting dogs for soup. So he's definitely going to be attempting to get some food gathered on this map. Meanwhile, we're seeing this attack coming through. The Valkyrie is out. The Nemean Lion has been taken down very, very quickly. The Prodromas are the big problem here, though, for Soup. Plus, those medium hoplite are absolutely huge. 80 population here for Soup. It's a 94 population for Matrix. And Matrix has got almost enough resources in the bank to just go to the Heroic Age. We see the Theseus taking down the Valkyrie of Soup. And he is getting completely pushed over in this game this uh, is not working out for him in the slightest here but he is going to be retreating away we see the town center coming up for Matrius he's getting purse seen uh, soup on the other hand does he already have that upgrade it looks as though he does have the purse seen so he has been getting a lot more food the Matrius here, but Matrius is just going to come forward, snipe all these houses, get his second town center, and be in a really, really good position. Soup, on the other hand, is having to move forward to gold mine. Oh, no, he's not. He's still got this gold mine left. 2,600 gold here. And we'll see how this goes. Got the, the long houses trying to come up. We've got the militia popping through here. The Ulf Sark trying to take down the Prodromus in the back here. And they do manage to do that as we're seeing Ulf Sark raiding cavalry. And uh, that's it for, for Supers. He's trying to pop out these, uh, these buildings. We see some more raids coming in. There is this wood line he can hit. There's this gold mine in the back. Do we have crenellations? No crenellations. So Super can basically just run through Matrius's, uh, Matrius's base without any real issue issues and he's going to be doing that hitting this gold mine in the back we do see these these uh hippocon trying to get some decent trades here but this is defender's advantage and everything else here for soup levy cavalry coming through for matrius as well he's getting levy cavalry as if the uh the 15 second train time isn't fast enough for those hippocon for those prodromas 10 seconds that's going to go down quite a bit because i think it's 20 percent increase on the train time right or decrease on the train time i should say there you go. Soup now having to retreat as well. So he's getting pushed back into his base here. Uh, but he is able to fight back for the time being. Soup's got a lot of resources here. He just needs to get to the Heroic Age. He's not going to be able to keep fighting this because soon Matrius' economy is going to kick into gear. He's got two town centers. Soup's only on one town center. We are seeing a longhouse getting built in the base. All these military buildings for Soup getting picked off. And have we just hit the classic? No, he's, he's built the armory up. It's all good. I thought maybe the armory was killed already. Yeah. So he had the armory up already. So he's able to go through Scardi. We'll see how this goes. Longhouse is going up all over the place in the base for soup the big problem for soup is going to be a second gold mine though we will have a frost maybe the frost to secure the talent center and a hill fort is the way to go here spam out those old sark we do see him continuously spamming out raiding cavalry the problem with raiding cavalry in this map is there's really nowhere to raid because uh, your opponent's base is so far away from yours it's completely safe there is this gold mine over here which is going to be looking to hit we see walls coming up for matrius as well and that's the other thing that happens the walls can be very easy to pick off or very easy to restrict raids i should say the temple trying to come up for soup it's not going to come up in time the scardi coming through no free frost giant which is absolutely huge soup actually almost able to advance to the next age here hasn't been throwing up houses not sure what his plans are in this game he's still pumping units out over here but maybe there's a possibility of a ragnarok but he needs he needs to get the market up and he's just not going to be able to do that for quite some time with no units out he's still making those raiding cavalry sitting at 83 of 75 population as matrius is making life very very difficult for soup in this game see those raiding cavalry trying to take down the villagers here and there's one falling two falling but all of those raiding cavalry seem to be falling as well to the town center fire and those hot those are those villages more of the houses coming up and soup is now out of gold 
Soup is out of gold. He's going for this town center with a sneaky old side. We're just getting chased by the hop hoplite here. Another temple coming up for Soup as Matria is coming onto this wood line. Going to be checking that one out. But the villagers, the dwarves, jumping into the town center, getting away without taking too much damage, except for the idle time here. And now we see those raiding cavalry trying to take down the Nemean line, but there's just no units here. 141 population now for Matrius to 77 for Soup. And Soup's got 1,000 food in the back, 600 gold. He's going to be sending those dwarves for trying to sneak a gold mine here, maybe here, maybe here. Uh, and it looks as though the Hippolyta and Atlanta are going to be more than enough to defend in this location. We do see Theseus getting picked off here. Uh, the throwing axemen dying as well. As the town center is going to be taking down these uh, these units fairly well here. And Soup does decide to tap out in the 15th minute of this game. GG, well played. I, I like Soup's attempt here, but he was he just couldn't control his units he had advantages over here he had a good raid over here he lost a ton of units in this location for no reason a lot of the time um and he just wasn't able to like get to the heroic age at a decent time if he got there he would have been um fantastically in front in this game but he just he just couldn't get there in terms of that heroic edge. We see him catch up on the on the uh, economic count here as Matrias was struggling for resources for just a little bit. Uh, but if you check the food out for soup, uh, there was a point uh, like here where instead of training more units, if we check out the military units at, what is it, 930, and he keeps building units. Well, he doesn't keep building units. They're actually going down a lot. Instead of fighting here and then rebuilding some units here, he should have just raided, been nice and safe with his units, gone Heroic Age, been about a minute behind on the Heroic Age for, uh, for Matrius, from Matrius, and then gone straight back into producing military. Having the Frost Giants would be more than enough to help. He could then also transition to Ulfsark as well to help deal with those Prodromus and the Hippocon. Uh, and then he may have been in a different position here. But Matrius takes this game. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.